Oh, what's up, people? Hopefully your COVID is going well and you're staying healthy and cleansed and highly favored by Jesus or Allah or whomever you believe. Nonetheless, I'm here to talk to you quickly about Prop 22 because I don't want my food to get too cold. But Prop 22 or Prop Deuce Deuce, as I like to refer to it, is the proposition that will actually challenge the United States or California, actually, state government to see if they're going to make their employees who work with the Uber, Lyft, or DoorDash, or any other app-based provider, if they're gonna force them to be full-time employees or if they'll allow them to continue to be freelancers. So, in quick, if you vote yes on this proposition, you're giving Uber, Lyft, DoorDash, and other app-based services the right to allow their employees to be freelancers, meaning that the employees can work at their leisure whenever they might need to. And if some of y'all got some cousins and family members who work in this business, I would totally ask them what they think. Because as America has shown us, 45% of many people who work in this country have some sort of a side hustle or side gig. And that means that they're working multiple jobs or maybe multiple different professions in order to sustain and pay for their rent or their dues and things the things that they need to survive in this country. Now, if you vote no on this proposition, then you're essentially siding with the, the California state government saying that no, you want Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash and other app-based services to actually pay their employees as full-time employees, meaning that they will get benefits, that they will be actually having retirement, and of course, be able to file for any other government subsidies that, that apply to them. So again, I would highly suggest talking to someone who works with one of these services to see what their opinions on this might be, because if you don't work in the service, then you could be hindering you know, whether or not those folks get the, the, the tools and things that they need in order to be successful in this particularly economic uh, situation that we're in now. So now that I've told you a little bit about Prop Deuce Deuce, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to my grub here. And I like to remember, let, let y'all remember that tater tots, they're not, they're not nearly as good as french fries. I like my french fries without ketchup too, so I don't know how y'all feel about that, but it's not really for you right now. That's not something you get to vote on, but there is some things that you can vote on, which is Proposition Deuce Deuce or Proposition 22. Make sure you get out there and vote. Make sure that your vote is heard and make sure you talk to folks in your community. Get them out there to vote too, because we need everybody. Your grandma, your auntie, your little cousin and them, little badass kids that's 18 that ain't really registered to vote, get their ass to vote, all right? We need everybody out there right now, because if you don't vote, then you ain't woke. I got bars for y'all for days, but I'm gonna hold off on that and get to my grub. All right then, people, take care of yourself. God bless.